Well, for almost 14 years, it has kind of been one of those short north storefronts that just kind of pulls you in off the sidewalk. But today, the owner of Tiger Tree announced that they are closing that store and shifting their business to online only. Yes, yeah, social distancing and a store that relies on a heavy volume of foot traffic. Well, they just don't mix. NBC4 reporter Ted Hart is live in the newsroom right now with more on what the owner has to say about this decision and what customers have to say about losing this shop. Ted. Yeah, Darlene, customers and neighboring store owners say that they were caught off guard. They didn't see this coming and they're sad. The owner points the finger at politicians and says the situation was preventable. It's packed with unique merchandise. It's a great place to browse. It's kind of sad to see that they're going online only because it's kind of an experience for a lot of the customers to come in and look at all this haphazard stuff. I mean, it's quite quirky. In a Facebook post announcing his decision, Owner Josh Quinn says the store was designed to be a place where a lot of people could come in and spend a lot of time discovering. It doesn't really work any other way. And he says, unfortunately, given our lack of political leadership, we do not anticipate being back in a position where that feels safe for this concept any time in the near future. It's kind of a shame that they're going to go uh, under like this. It's kind of stinks, you know. It's, it's kind of a big uh, stalwart for the Shore North, you know. The business has been allowing customers inside by appointment recently, and it plans to continue as an online gift shop. But the owner says if people don't want to lose more businesses like Tiger Tree, they need to wear a mask and make sure others do as well. And in November, he says, please don't forget about those who were in a position to act and failed to do so. Customers called today's news a gut punch, said they were heartbroken, some worry this may be a sign of more closings to come. You can walk down the street and still, still see people not wearing masks and, you know, the, the mandates that are occurring because things aren't getting better right now. So I, I do, I do expect to see a little more of this happening. And Tiger Tree owner Josh Quinn says it feels weird to be sort of going out of business, but he says they plan to reopen a brick and mortar store again sometime in the future. In the newsroom, Ted Hart, NBC4.